Okay, here's problem six. Uh, it's similar to the previous one, except now uh, what they're asking for is what is the voltage across this capacitor, the 100 microfarad capacitor on the other side. Okay, in order to find this one, again, we're going to use our loop rule, and we're going to do a loop that includes that capacitor, right? That makes sense. Let's use this loop over here, and let's again go in the clockwise direction here. Okay, if I use my starting point down at this end, uh, the first thing I cross is a 10 volt battery. That means I add plus 10. Then the next thing I cross is a 525 ohm resistor. So there's going to be a voltage drop across that, and the voltage drop is given by Ohm's law. It's the value of the resistance, 525, multiplied by the current flowing through it. Next thing I encounter is the capacitor. That's going to be the voltage across the 100 microfarad capacitor. Now I cross a 300 ohm resistor. There's a voltage drop across that one. 300 multiplied by, let's call it I1. It's a different current flowing through this branch here. I1 and there's I flowing here. All right, and then I go back um, over this 100 ohm resistor. So I get another voltage drop of 100 multiplied by the current. The current here has to be I. Okay, and if I go back to where I start, that should be equal to zero. I can simplify this a little bit because I can combine the 525 with the 100 ohm. So let's do that. So this expression here becomes 10 minus 625 multiplied by I minus 300 times I1 equals to the voltage across the 100 ohm microfarad. Um, across the 100 microfarad capacitor. All right, now remember what they say. They say after a long time. So remember what happens after a long time. The current I1 actually has to be equal to zero, right? We already talked about that one. So that simplifies this expression quite a bit. That means we don't have to worry about this term. There's no potential drop across that 300 ohm resistor. Because after a long time, every branch in a circuit that contains a capacitor does not have any current flowing through it. So in order to find the voltage across the 100 ohm, 100 microfarad capacitor, mm, we simply have to use this expression. But we're still missing something. We still need to find what the current I is. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to do another loop, except this time we're going to go around the big outer loop. So, okay, so the first thing I encounter is, again, going to be a 10-volt battery. The next thing is a 525 ohm resistor. There's a voltage drop across that. If I'm going around the outer loop now, I'm going to cross this large resistor, the 1500 ohm resistor. So again, I'm going to have a voltage drop across that, 1500 multiplied. Now it has to be the same current flowing. If there's no current I1 after a long time, all that current that reaches this junction has to flow through on the outer side. All right, and eventually that will go through this 100 ohm resistor. And that's it, I go back to where I started. Here's the equation. Now what's good about this equation here, which we can label equation two, is that this allows you to find the current I, which what I was missing in equation one. So from this expression, you get that the current I simply equals to 10 and divided by these three resistors in series. If you add them up, 525 plus 1500 plus 100, then you should get 2125. All right, now we got to punch the numbers in, and I think if I did that correctly here, you should get 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3 amperes. All right, so now I can go ahead and substitute in to my expression for equation 1. And I'm left with that the voltage across this 100 microfarad capacitor is going to be less than 10. And it's 10 minus 625 multiplied by my current, 4.7 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, punching in the numbers here, you should get uh, 7.06 volts. So notice this case is a little bit different than the 50 microfarad a capacitor we previously did. And that's because there's another resistor here. There's a resistor between the battery and that capacitor. And there is current flowing through this 525 resistor.
Okay, so in this case, D is the correct answer.